Tim Trotter, and today I'm going to show you a couple of different ways that you can download audio from the internet using your Mac. This can be done a couple of different ways, and the main way I'm going to show you is using Safari, and the other is an alternate way using Firefox. Let's go there now. For this example, I've already got Safari and Firefox loaded up. On Safari, it's as simple as finding a website like SoundCloud that allows you to download music done by indie and new artists for free. What you need to do is locate the correct download link button. This can be seen here. Notice how it glows blue when you put your cursor over it. Go ahead and click it, and then a little pop-up will appear when you hit the download. And it'll pop up over into this icon up here, and when it's done, it should drop it onto your desktop. That's the easy way. Additionally, it'll also open up QuickTime for you and allow you to play it. But what if you want to record sound from something that doesn't have a download link readily available, like YouTube, for an example? Well, here's an easy and simple solution that you can do at home. Go over to Firefox, which for this example we've already got set up. You want to go to this website here, www.downloadhelper.net. And once there, you want to click this clickable tab here, Install the Extension. Once you've done that and it's installed, you'll notice that your web area selector bar up here will have this little icon of this, uh, this blue, red, and yellow spinning balls here. That indicates that the download helper is not only installed, but it's running and working. Pop over to YouTube, and we have this same song that we were listening to on SoundCloud earlier. And let's say we want to get the audio from that. So you want to go up here, over to these balls again. You want to click this arrow here and you want to go to the MP4 version. Go ahead and go over to it and hit download. It's going to want to drop it on the desktop, so go ahead and hit save. It's going to pull up the download bar here. Once it's downloaded, go ahead and go to your desktop. You'll find the file here. Go ahead and open it up in QuickTime. Once it's loaded, go up to File, then scroll down to Export. You're going to want to select Format and go Audio Only. Go ahead and hit the Export button here. And when it's done, you'll have a perfectly listenable song that you took from YouTube. And once it's up, you can go ahead and play it. And there you have it. There's just a couple of easy and simple solutions to get audio from a web page onto your Mac. Hope that's been helpful. Thanks for watching.